Welcome to the Design in It 9 video learning series. In this video, we'll be working in standard garment styling section of the program. I'm going to cancel this for a minute and talk about a new feature in Design in It 9 that lets you set default folders where you will be saving files. You can easily change this, but it's nice to have that set up. File default folder and you can set up default folders for shapes you can set up default folders for stitch patterns and also for graphic files and the default folder for shapes is in your documents library which is right here designing it installs a folder in your documents called designing it 9 and it installs two subfolders, one called shapes and the other one called stitch patterns. And I have added in a couple other folders in addition to that. So if you were just using designing it for the first time, it's going to default to save here in your shapes folder. But you may not want to always stick it in there. And you can say here, I've made a couple of subfolders, sweaters for the family. And now when I go ahead and say, okay, and I say file thumbnails, it's looking up the thumbnails in that shape folder that I just specified. And so this is only the sweaters for the family shape folder. And here you can see the document tree Designing it nine shapes, sweaters for the family. And I could easily change that by clicking into different directories and loading what I want. You can also file default folder. If you want to have another file in here, you don't need to go all over your computer and worry about how to set up new files and stuff. I'll show you a really neat trick. Cancel this for a moment. Just say file open. And it defaulted to where I set it, sweaters for the family. And I move this drop down menu and I'm going to move up to the shapes directory. Now I'm in the shapes directory and here's my two subfolders. And these are the files that came pre-installed with Designing It 9. But I can easily click here and say create a new folder. And I could say sweaters for customers. And enter to finish that change. And now I have three. And I'm just going to cancel this. And the trick is to just entirely close design in it and then reopen it and go right back to standard garment styling. Cancel this again. File, default folder. And look, here's my new sweaters for customer all the way there. And so did I have to go fool around with all these other learning how to use computers? No, I can do it right here using this trick. If I say sweaters for the family and I don't have this checked, it will always look here to open up the file and it will always try and save it here. But I can say here, continue using the same folder from the previous open or save, and then this makes where your default folder a little bit more dynamic. And so if I say file thumbnails, it knows the sweaters for the family that I had set it, and I can open this, open, and I could say file save as, and I could go here, and go up to shapes and then click on sweaters for customers and let's call this customer one save now when I say thumbnails it automatically looks 
to the last folder where I saved, which is here, sweaters for the customers. So now I've been able to quickly open for the family and now because I saved it here it remembers that's the last place that was your favorite place to save. So you have the two options file default folder if I don't have this checked it will always try and open and close here if I have this checked if I open it here but I save it in sweaters for customers the next time I try and open a file, thumbnails, it will look in sweaters for customers because I've told it to keep changing the default folder depending on what I used last. So remember the quick trick of doing this and also file open. And here's my customers and you can use this to go up and down sweaters for the family you can also use this up one level and that will take you up to the shapes up one level up to design in at nine here's your shapes here's your stitch patterns and you can save it anywhere you want in the computer but i like it all kind of clustered in this design in at nine folder it makes it easy to find things so i'm going to say sweaters for the family open a shape file and here's my husband's shape and if I have my default folder checked off here when I save this as and I'm going to go up one level and say cut sweaters for the customers and I'm going to save this as customer two save now when I pull up my thumbnails, it should look in that sweater for customers folder. Let's check that out. And there you go. It looked right in there because I had that checked off. So you have two options. Always look in one directory without it checked on, off. And with it checked off, it will dynamically follow the default directory where you want. This default directory for shapes is the same in original pattern drafting and original pattern drafting has an additional option to save background images. Stitch Designer has its own set of default directories and the Design Init Graphics Studio lets you set default directories for that particular part of the program. So isn't this nice? So we're all set and ready to go. Thank you.